Hi friends, today we will explain about high pressure mercury evaporate lamp and the characteristics. Now we will talk about the major components of this high pressure mercury evaporate lamp. So first of all we will talk about igniter. Igniter is the very major component for the starting of this mercury evaporate lamp. So friend you can see clearly in the top of uh, the connection drawing also. This is called igniter. The second one, this is the mercury evaporate lamp and other one is holder and the last one is ballast. The mercury evaporate lamp is 250 watts so we will use the igniter and blast also 250 watts. Now let's start the connections. Now friends first we take two wires as per our igniter drawing you can see in the top of igniter neutral lamp and blast first of all we connect here to wires One time check if any loosage you make again tight. Now this wire we will be connect in holder. Okay. And this end you connect in connector because this is the neutral. Okay, you take one more wire and connect here. You trim properly because if any loosage, you take one more wire and connect here. You can see this is the wire will going in our lamp. Okay. Now we will connect the wires with ballast. Now this wire you connect in igniter. This wire will coming in this wire will coming from blast. You connect here and tie it properly. And this is the main wire of this circuit. Now friends, you can check in the top of igniter. We make these connections as per igniter drawing. So in the connector you connect phase and neutral. One phase will going in ballast and the output will going in igniter. From igniter, one wire directly going in holder and the neutral will coming from connector and now connect in igniter and in from igniter one wire you take and connect in holder you will connect properly mercury evaporate lamp this holder is porcelain so it will take more temperature 
so better you will use porcelain holder and here you connect line and neutral and this mercury evaporate lamp will working i hope you understand if any question and you need any help you can contact with me thank you very much